There's one single tent. We're talking about Horvath. <laughs> There's a lot of tents going on. A lot of tents. Yeah, we, we actually did a, uh, a TikTok thing. TikTok. Y'all making TikToks uh, now? Yeah. This is a Because Design Matters exclusive. <laughs> This is a Because Design Matters. It's exclusive. Y'all, that was Family Madness. Used to watch them in the kitchen sip a sand. All right, y'all ask. We're going to answer. Hip-hop art toy. A. A. Okay. From Chewy Beats. Poppy Chew. Match pack. Promotional match pack. From Mello. For his EP. That comes out at midnight. That he's going to the release party to right now. Don't ask me what you forget. Guest I forgot was supposed to interview today. And the third part of the promo, not my stickers, somebody else's stickers. We got Calm and Collected, an event happening on Saturday, organized by Jason Morris. What'd y'all bring me? Oh, I got nothing, actually. I probably should have brought I brought something. myself. Nobody's I brought uh, the valuable information that I have uh, up here about uh, the upcoming show on uh, June 8th. In info, run it. The in info, 60 seconds. June 8th, uh, Vertigogo in Hamilton, Ontario. We have a show called In Your House, and uh, the show is going to look like it takes place in your house. Your house, personally, I actually snuck in and took pictures of your living room, and it's going to look exactly like that. And, I'm excited uh, to see. What we have on it is we have 3R and myself performing our new EP as the headliner. Uh, the new EP that has yet to be announced, but I guess I'm going to announce it right now. I mean, but I'm not going to say the name. And uh, we have it. Bunkin, we have Smoothie Lou, mm -hmm. we have Good for Nothing, okay. and Rare Candies. And it's going to be a phenomenal show. Don't forget about the uh, unnamed special guests. Oh, we got some unnamed special guests as well. You'll see who that is at the show. Does he got any bees in his name? No. Okay. Yeah, you have to show up to find out. <laughs> you have to go. Now, I think I heard some movie say he was headlining. I Did don't know about that? that one. Not true. Those allegations are loser. false. <laughs> um, how many houses did y'all break into besides mine for inspo for this uh, event? Oh, geez, I don't know if we're allowed to say that. Uh, <laughs> That's smart. This is not live TV. Do not incriminate yourself. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, somewhere in the 15, 20 range. We'll keep it low. Will there be a couch? Yeah, of course there will be a couch. You want to sit on it? Will there be a couch? There's going to be a couch. There's going to be people. The I'm couch not is lying confirmed. To you. The couch is confirmed. It's going to be a couch. I'll be there. Anybody could come up and sit on it if they want. Yeah. I'll invite you up. The question is, how did y'all find Bunkin? Instagram. <laughs> how do you find anyone these days? The internet. Because I like Bunkin. He's performed at the Kill Room. I've seen some of the clips. I have not been to one of the shows, uh, but I like his music, and uh, he works with a lot of. A lot of really cool people from I've seen from his Instagram. That, Did y'all uh, say it was before your era? Is that what you just said? No, no, no. no. You said it was before my time? No, Bunkin, uh, Bunkin is uh, forever. Bunkin is forever. Bunkin is forever. ZYX there is, no is forever. ZYX is forever. Yeah. That was like, uh, in my opinion, I think y'all are carrying the torch of the same show energy that the ZYX shows used to have back at used the Kill Room. Have. Used to have at the Kill Room. Okay. I say used okay. to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ZYX, I'm not sure what Bunkin's doing now out in Montreal with ZYX. Speaking French. Speaking French. So, <laughs> ze, ze, bo, <laughs> how do you say ZYX in French? Anyways, it was a, a different era. That's why I say used to because uh, everyone who was involved in ZYX collective at that time is parted ways to do their own things. So I think that same energy of a show, you guys are doing great. Just trying job. to bring together the uh, the true underground in the city. It was an underground scene. And then the Kill Room was the, the home of it at that time. The Kill Room so, is dead. Peace. Long live Vertigogo. I like that place. <laughs> You're like, is Vertigogo the new Kill Room? No. C closest thing to it. It is the closest thing to it, though, in terms of energy and the acts that come through. Definitely. Uh, super awesome promoter to work with every single time. Uh, yeah, they've been and, great. Uh, they've been great. Uh, they let us get away with a lot, actually. <laughs> All that fog at the last show. Oh if, you, if you were God. there, you know. Insert the fog right here in the <laughs> I actually, I actually didn't get a complaint after that, which I was... Uh, no Which, complaint. the Kill Room, they kind of gave us some flack about all the fog we had at our show. I remember so. they came outside yelling, oh, that's it, no more fog! I think Kill Room was get, getting soft by that point. Kill Room closed <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Uh, cause of all the fog. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't handle the smoke. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, do you guys know why the Kill Room actually closed? I have no idea. I've heard a thing or two, but I don't know what's true out there. No, I don't think you know. Rumor. I don't know. I, I, I just said no I don't idea. know. Rumor, rumor <laughs> point. What's your best guess? My best guess. Andrea Horath. Oh. Andrea Horath. 
Somebody's got to do something about her. <laughs> um, <laughs> where is the nearest tent to your house? There's a tent right between us. We live not too far from each other. Yeah, actually, it's probably like right in the middle, right in the middle between middle, where yeah. we live. Just one single tent? Yeah. Fuck Interesting. You. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? The tents. Okay. I know you live close to me. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to like, I'm using like tent navigation to like find your house. We yeah, man, there's one single tent. We talk about Horvath and there's a lot of tents going on. A lot of tents. Yeah, we, we actually did a, uh, a TikTok thing. TikTok. Y'all making TikToks now? Uh, yeah, man, I was I making mean, TikToks. We went to uh, okay. interviewing people uh, down at uh, like Jackson Square area. Asking their opinion on uh, the housing crisis and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually got some really good footage. Uh, then I seen uh, in like uh, the five or six days following that, that like 10 other people did the exact same thing That's on Instagram. So did y'all so, delete the footage? <laughs> that'll come. Yeah. That'll come. We gave out some tickets to some people that wanted them. And uh, it was it was an interesting day. Got some real answers from real Hamilton folk. Yeah. Uh, I like that. I uh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell. I'm trying to put together a full magazine issue about the, the housing issue. I want it to be a more serious topic. So there's lots of. We'll keep it a secret. More interviews that need to be done. Gotcha. Don't tell it. I'm trying to. I'm choking right now. Keep it. <laughs> keep it on the down low. I'm trying to interview Horvat. I got Ooh. a good connection. <laughs> she might not know it's about the housing issue though. Are you Are you gonna name that connection? I like she find out. No, we no, were no. we were talking about walking. I'm not even. I'm gonna cut this clip out. Seeing what happens. <laughs> just walking in. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, that, well, that's how you have to do everything. Yeah. Don't don't wait till they invite you in. Not, I'm never going, I'm not they never invited going to invite in you in. Right? Like, <laughs> nobody invited me to be here. <laughs> you just started. I just showed. Up. <laughs> just showed up with an empty mic. Yeah. Sent a couple emails. Said please. Let me in. Is that actually how you got the show? Pretty close. <laughs> so I sent the emails, knew the right people, the right place. So right he was talking about Mook. I was here from Mook shows at 9 p.m. on Thursdays. LT was the guest. I was just filming him. Wasn't invited to be here by the guest, by or by the host, by any means. I was filming his set. Mook ended his show by announcing that they were looking for hosts. I don't even know if it was true. I don't know why it was announced. That. I don't know if it said it somewhere, but he, he ended his show with it. I sent an email. Nobody replied. I was like, all right. F y'all then. And then I knew this girl who worked out of here in some aspects, and it turned out she was on the board who, like, decides who gets a show. So I DM'd her. She's like, I could just push it through, and they just gave me a show. That easy, huh? I didn't sign no contracts. I didn't read any of the stuff I was yeah. supposed to read. And I hope they never <laughs> review this episode or, or all the other episodes where I've talked about this. If they got a problem with me saying this, come make me sign something. You didn't, yeah, you didn't sign no NDA. <laughs> I agreed to follow no rules. I'm just kidding. I agreed to everything. I'm looking at this camera like I'm ever going to use this clip. I'm deleting this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping they don't review this uh, this audio. Do y'all see the Diddy footage? Speaking of delete the footage. Yeah, I did see that on Instagram. That was not good. No bueno. Did he do it? I think he did. He did do it. I think he, he did. did. I think he did it. Speaking of Netflix documentaries, um, you know about Tires? Huh? You know, Shane Gillis? Were you, were you oh, listening out there? No, I wasn't. You, you know? You familiar with Shane Gillis? And tires? I, I know I know a little bit about it. That's it. How about Terrence Howard? I've heard that name. I don't know who that is. His recent uh, spiritual awakening on the Joe Rogan experience. You've heard about Life's Flower? Life's Flower. Yeah. Nah. That's all I got. I didn't I'm out of the loop. Me too. I don't know what I this just stuff took the is. top hashtags off Twitter, I think. Uh <laughs> no, our whole focus ain't on any of that. It's just June 8th. Where to go go. June 8th. In your house. That is the focus. And then, you know, some other stuff in between and after that, which uh, I'll probably touch upon at another point in time. What do y'all got going on? Oh, I got lots going on. Lots lots something going, going on. on. Very busy man. You, I, for, I forget what it was. You changed the style. Did you have a beard before? Or what do you? Or you grew hair? Nah, there man. was no hair, and you grew hair. I you was rocking the dirt stash for a while. Yeah, but there was some before the dirt stash. When the mullet's a little time? more full. Yeah, it's a little more full. I was out of beard for a while. Was it the beard? I had last nothing thing? clean shaven. Remember, I said you look like the guy from Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah, no, I was, I was rocking the dirt stash. What was before that? That it switched to that? Cause I remember seeing oh, you that God, day and thinking you looked distinctly different. I had. Uh, 
So I just woke up like this. I'm my just... hair was probably down in my face a little bit. I get my girlfriend to cut my hair. Nice. That's a good way. Sometimes to go, I do it. What does she charge you for that? Nothing. Wow. Nothing. Keeper. I get the best deal. <laughs> the best. Only for me. <laughs> only for me, man. The exclusive haircuts. Have you uh, had any chicken parms lately? Chicken parms. Yeah, man, I had chicken parm yesterday, that, uh, actually. That chicken parm pizza from Tim Hortons. Have you had the Tim Hortons pizza? I just ate it today. I tried it. You had it today? I ate the Tim Hortons pizza today and the chicken parm yesterday. <sighs> That's a good week so far. It was a good week. That's the end Solid, of the week. Yeah, that uh, that uh, Tim Hortons pizza is really good. Burning through the wallet, though. Burning through the wallet? Yeah, I think it's like eight bucks. Yeah. We only talk nicely about Tim Hortons in here, so I'm glad y'all said you liked it. Because a lot of people have been going... Saying lies about the pizza. Pizza's, I like Tim pizza's pretty bomb. Pizza's good. I wish they brought back. Uh, now I don't remember what it's called. Mm, that turkey I and like wild that rice soup. <laughs> 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 that uh, that 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 uh, donut that I like. Yeah. All of those donuts yeah, I like. Those they got rid of again. Uh, <laughs> the one with the raisins, man. Uh, the Dutchy donut. That, that's the best oh, the Dutchy's the worst life, donut. Man. Y'all are that crazy. That is the best donut you know I've ever had in my about. life, man. I like raisins. Uh, and then, sue me. I love a raisin, they brought raisin, it back, so and then they boring. got rid of it again. Yeah, man. that's... We can't have nice things. I ain't right. Y'all are crazy. Did you ever have the extreme Italian from the ones? It's mm, a sandwich. No. It's an Italian sandwich. What makes a sandwich Italian? McDonald's McLobster. You ever had that? Dirty man, it's dirty, but it's it, so good. It's so good, man. What about the McRib? Yeah, that was okay. Never had it. You just, you just make that. Did you try any of the little Yachty remixes? No, nah, but that Surf and Turf burger caught my attention. Can't even lie. I didn't try any of them either, but what I did try, because I like the apple pie from McDonald's. You ever had the little apple pie? It's solid. But they made a McFlurry with the apple pie in it. It was I like having an apple pie with it. was part of the little yachty thing. And that right there. I probably should have tried that. See, I'm at McDonald's ah, all the time, but I never tried anything new. Shout out little yachty. You see my sticker? I do see your sticker. <laughs> I actually I do know see which your McDonald's sticker. you go to. <laughs> yeah, man. It's too close. It's too close. Uh, I'm yeah. not a hard guy to find. <laughs> just did it. Just did it. <laughs> Behind me in the drive thru, I'm there too. <laughs> Now, how'd you know that that was me? Because i seen you in the drive-thru at McDonald's. I think I just, like, caught you in the mirror for a second. It's the like, mullet. the corner of my eye. I, I right. saw you. I knew it was you. you. Caught me off guard. And I, like, really, like, turned around and came up to McDonald's. Nah, man, it's the mullet. That's the f- I remember my girl was telling me recently she was going through the McDonald's parking lot with her mom. Lo and behold, looks, in the win- looks through the window, sees the mullet just shining out his car. Now, I want to do a quick PSA to anyone who's listening now. Please call in if you've seen Pink Daytona in the McDonald's uh, parking lot drive through or vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say which location, but I know. You, you know. If you know, you know. McDonald's, man. If you've seen the stickers, you know. <laughs> What's your go-to order? My go-to order? Yeah. Oh, man. Now, I, I, I switch it up pretty often. Role but, play. Uh, uh, hi, this is McDonald's. How may I help you? Quarter pounder with cheese. Extra ketchup. Add spicy habanero, large fry, extra large double double with milk. Okay, please drive up to the first window. You know what I mean? Order me no. Make make, oh, ca- make make car noise. <laughs> make car noises. Room room. Uh, your order will be uh, thirty two dollars. Would you like to donate to the Ronald McDonald Charity Foundation today? No. That's God, my no. answer too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna make this meal cheaper when we donate. <laughs> I, was like, I know this don't cost no thirty-two dollars. Why are you doing this to me? Ten piece chicken nugget meal and fry. How much? Go. What do you think? Fourteen bucks. Like seventeen dollars. What? I got relax. Large fry too. I was gonna say you're oh, okay. you're upgrading okay. with that seventeen dollars yeah. there. It's, it's, those, uh, those, and a bottle those... of water. But that's bottle of water. Are you buying water from McDonald's? Drink, I, don't, I don't drink pop. So I, I, drink of water. I love pop, but I had to, I stopped. I mean, so. that's good, but, like, don't they sell, like, Dasani or something? They sell coffee. They sell tea. That's true. Well, some of getting it, but, like... <laughs> Dasani's brutal, <laughs> bro. Cold water? Dasani's Any gross. kind of cold water. Nah, you Aquafina, mean, Dasani, get that out of my face, bro. I don't know how, lake water. how water can taste water. dry. That the Smart water's good, though. Smart water, I do like Smart that. water's good. If McDonald's gave me all your water, I'd pick something else, but they don't. That's for so tap I, water, so man. Get Dasani. some fresh tap. Oh, I love tap? I love some Hamilton tap water. That's cheaper too. <laughs> I'm gonna grow a third arm, but cheaper. Um, what do you think is worse than Hamilton, the water or the air? Um, I'm gonna say the water, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like the air. 
I actually, uh, yeah. probably mm-hmm. around this time last year, I went swimming. Kind of a long story. Here? Uh, no, uh, oh my God. down by the factories. That's what right I mean, like pier. Lake Ontario? Yeah. Oh. I, I had to, I had to go lot. get something. It's a long story. <laughs> oh, you uh, didn't uh, want to jump in. I didn't want to jump in, but I did do it. What did you have to jump in for? Was it a person? Uh, no. Then it didn't no. make sense. <laughs> long story, but uh, I'm pretty sure I messaged you about that right after I did it. I was like sick for like a fucking week, man. I believe it. It's brutal. Um, you know why the park at the end of Upper Gage closed? Why is that? Contaminants in the soil. Oh. That can you, mean you know what I'm talking about. That can mean uh, that's the one upper gauge concession, right? Mm-hmm. That, that can mean anything, though. Yeah, they fenced it off. It's gonna be fenced off till September 2025. Damn, it's in the soil. And they just they just renovated that washroom. I'm just saying. I was thinking probably sewage lines or something. Probably found something. Or, yeah. uh, contaminants can mean a lot of things. I, as far, I forget as far what as they call it. It's like there's something they test for and all the soil and the thing, and they're like it was just over the limit. But if you're over the limit, you're over the limit. Gotcha. My original theory was they're trying to keep the tents out of there. That's possible. Because that parks up to like eight to ten tents. I noticed they're mowing around them. Are they? Yeah, that's crazy. That's funny. <laughs> Freaky I saw looking, a person man. with a lawn chair and an umbrella sitting at their tent. And I was like, you know what? I'm just maxing and relaxing out there. I was like, I bet you don't pay your taxes either. <laughs> Must be nice. I mean, I don't. <laughs> me, me either, but <laughs> I'd be stressing about it. So yeah, I bet yeah. they're not stressed about it. <laughs> they're content. How many years back you up? Since 2020. Oh, yeah, man. I'm like 2019. That's a great thing to admit it live on air. Yeah. Ah, come get me. <laughs> also, I worked freelance for most of the years. So I basically live like a pirate. They don't know what I made. They don't know what I didn't. <laughs> they don't need it. That's the way to go. And I'm not going to clip this either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will. Just test the water. See who's really watching. Brody admits <laughs> tax evasion. Yeah. Also, I'm not here next week. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Need a guest host? Uh, maybe. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Y'all got a couple more weeks till the show, so, you know. Why should people come out? Because it's going to be the best show you've ever seen. It's, it's uh, show of the not summer. even just as much of a show. It's, it's going to be like an art installation. Mm, and uh, see, like the, uh, the acts we got are phenomenal. There's so much work that's going into this show. The visuals themselves the visuals are going to be, be phenomenal. I mean, I... <sighs> People, I find a lot of people put like very minimal effort, like none, into the shows that they like, put on, and it's like, crazy. Specifically, mm-hmm. the stage design, I would say next to none at most shows. Nobody yeah. wants to see you hit play on your laptop and sing along with it. Like they want, they want something to. At most, we'll get a a backdrop, a projected yeah. backdrop, and that's only when they're at Mills. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, you rarely see anything on the stage, other than whatever instruments are required or the DJ board. Yeah, it's hey. not hard to DIY, and this is a really competitive music genre. Uh, I, not even competing within the city, but like competing like in general. Like you need something really good to you really gotta catch good people's to catch the attention. Like if you don't have four guys up on stage playing instruments and stuff like that, you need something else. And let's pretend like, everyone's music is the same quality. Yeah, look at how many shows there are. Why do they come out to yours? Oh, if it's a whole like presentation. Like you, you look at the stage for Ye- the Yeezus tour, right? If you're yeah, bringing yeah, something yeah. that's yeah. worth like it's a. Uh, it's a spectacle, so I'm excited to see what you guys got set up for that. The one thing people will never say about our shows is that it's boring. They might say they have lung poison or something, though, right? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> hey, that's part of it. That's part of it. You want to be a punk or not? Exactly. <laughs> is that, is that being a gutter punk or what? Like, <laughs> you got to have a little bit of lung damage if you want to live in the city. Yeah, take it, man. <laughs> like, you're, you're getting it every day anyway. Yeah. yeah, man. Like You're from Hamilton. I'm pretty sure that you can breathe this. It like. is the equivalent of smoking one cigarette a day. Okay. If you live anywhere like this side of like Ancaster, that's wild. On the mountain, yeah. off the mountain, doesn't matter. It's like one cigarette a day. <sighs> yeah, well, I smoke like twenty. So there you go. What's now one you're more? Twenty one. What's <laughs> one more? <laughs> you're in it. <laughs> um, now, if you had this, the new new segment, it's not the sixty seconds of promo to start. Ooh. You have thirty seconds to shout out someone or something from the city that you think needs some like attention. Damn. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Tom. I was just going to say 3R, show us some love, you know? Uh, I was talking to Smoothie Lou today. I like Smoothie Lou. I was, uh, Sukasa told me he was tuned in. I like Sukasa. I, I like uh, I like Care Pack. Shout out to uh, Red Moon Jesus. He's the most slept on rapper in the city. I'm going to have to look him up. I think I've seen his IG handle float around. That shout out Red Moon Jesus. Red Moon Jesus. Catch shout up on my to, recent uh, tape. Shout out to everybody that's going to be part of In Your House and is helping out with In Your House. 
Uh, we have like a pretty big group of people that are coming out and uh, helping out, being on, whether being on the show. I got somebody running lights. Uh, we got uh, hosts. We we got everything handled. And that's Y'all have be, a separate uh, host from your oh, yeah. of course. Shout out Red Moon Jesus. Is it's he the it's host? a concept show. He might I be. I like that. That's it's, a good. It's an art I think installation. Specifically with these shows, the headliner should stop being the host also, because if people are like on there to support you. They're like, oh, I saw you up on stage. I'm there to support you. You want them to support your set. Now, you want them to stay for the yeah. actual show. That's where there was a point in time when a lot of guys were helping the openers by, like, filling that space before the opener when people are just hanging out and they'd perform a little bit. And I'm like, then anyone who was there to see you is like, I saw you. Yeah. Like, you went first. <laughs> like, I saw it. I saw everybody else. I took off. Because the struggle is getting people to stay till that, that end slot, right? Honestly, that's been a worry every time we've thrown a show, and we've always still had a crowd at the end. So we built different. Built different. We always stay till the end. And uh, we're going to be headlining, uh, co-headlining this time around. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be worth it to stay till the end. Oh, like yeah. I said, we have a new collaborative VP coming out. Uh, should we say the name? Say We can say the name. You 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 it's called You Say the Name. No. Coming soon. <laughs> we're not going to say the name yet a secret <laughs> i'll say the name the devil went down to barton street that stank face says it all that's a good name it's a good i haven't like, heard anything from it i just know that's a good name me and daytona got such separate sounds i feel like but like this tape is such a good blend of it it's not like just oh he sent me an open verse and i put my thing on it like we worked really hard on this together it's been in the works since actually september of 2022 when? I think that's when we made the first beat for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah the first beat, uh, September 2022, uh, we went to uh, Value Village and uh, picked up uh, a bunch of uh, 45 records. Just put whatever looked right cool. right on the record player, whatever looked cool, had a cool name. Uh, loaded them right into FL and chopped the samples up. I like it. That's how I buy my records on at Value Village. You got cool cover art? I want it in the collection. Exactly. Now, who else does that? Actually, I'm sure there are a lot of other producers that do good. that. Yeah. None yeah. around here. None around here. Sometimes I'm not even listening to them. I'm just looking for inspiration cover art wise and like build a catalog of stuff. I'll, looks cool, got good fonts. Yeah. The old typography that used to be on covers, he's going, I hate fonts on covers. But um, some of the old stuff <laughs> they used to do is very much like Helvetica and these sans serif fonts that are like very popular. Today, I actually yeah. do right? like a lot of uh, album art that has like text on it and stuff like yeah. that, especially the old. It's just gotta be tasteful. Like you that. just can't choose stuff that's like trendy right now. Yeah. Because if you yeah. pick what if you use, right down to video effects, everything. If you pick what's trendy right now, by next year it's dated. I'm gonna put pick, Comic like, Sans on my album art. Timeless stuff. Timeless. <laughs> Give me a. This is a because design matters exclusive, real quick. This is a Because Design Matters exclusive. This is a Because Design Matters exclusive. Now, say who y'all are and that this is being Because Design Matters. I'm 3R. I am Pink Daytona from the Pink Daytona Music page on Instagram and Spotify. We are the Black Sheep of the 905. We are. And this is a Because Design Matters exclusive. exclusive. Now we gotta go where I'm gonna get in trouble. I appreciate y'all coming out. Thanks we, for having we us. We gonna man. do this again when you got that uh, project ready because I like that name. Maybe uh, we don't get pushed back a little bit next time. Uh, you get pushed back further. Yeah, who's <laughs> originally booked for the slot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm three R. I am Pink Daytona from the Pink Daytona music page on Instagram and Spotify. We are the Black Sheep of the 905. We are and. This is a Because Design Matters exclusive. exclusive.